Good morning. Over the past two weeks, white fly adult numbers on fall melons have been extremely high in trials conducted at the UMA Ag Center. In fact, based on numbers sampled from our untreated chicks, adult numbers thus far have been almost tenfold greater than what we have observed um, in the past several years. Furthermore, white fly pressure has been exceptionally high in the rolled tachna area where our sampling has shown numbers in excess of 150 adults per leaf on pre-blooming plants um, in a number of fields out there. This high, this high white fly abundance can be attributed to some extent to the crop landscape in these areas. Crops planted near or adjacent to cotton and alfalfa are clearly more heavily infested. In addition, our monsoon conditions this year may be playing a role where total rainfall and average relative humidity during the months of July and August have been higher this year than in the previous 10 years. Interestingly, these monsoon conditions were also very high in 2005, where, if you recall, we had a very heavy whitefly year. We would even consider it an outbreak year. Given that whitefly pressure does not appear to be letting up, PCAs should be paid particular attention to early whitefly control on their newly planted produce crops. It is important that PCAs prevent prolonged feeding by high numbers of adults on seedling lettuce plants in particular, which can result in stunted growth. If you observe honeydew on leaves in the absence of nymphs, then there are way too many whitefly adults on these seedling plants. Furthermore, allowing adults to remain on plants unchecked generally results in the development of a large nymph population which can cause significant reductions in growth and yield. It is strongly recommended that growers apply a soil neonicotinoid on lettuce and coal crops throughout September and early October. Local research has shown that imidacloprid applied at a quarter pound AI per acre at, per, at planting time provides less residual control of nymphs today than it did 10 to 20 years ago. Given the current economics of imidacloprid, cost-effective white fly control can be achieved by using higher rates of imidacloprid to extend residual control. Once plants get larger, products like Mavento, Venom, Scorpion, Acel, Knack, and Courier can provide effective control of nymphs. With the loss of endosulfan, growers have few options for effective adult control, but good knockdown can be achieved on lettuce and coal crops with combinations of bifenthrin or danitol, tank mixed with orthene, lanate, lorban, venom, scorpion, or acel. For more information, please go to our website where we have several articles on whitefly management on fall produce. Remember, when in doubt, scout. <laughs>